Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll show you how to install the Google Camera app on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2. So we did a video comparing the Google Camera app results with the stock camera app and how good the Google Camera experience was. But then uh, one thing to note that the device does not support Camera 2 API. By default, you need to enable it. So without uh, Camera 2 API, we cannot install the Google Camera app on this device or rather the Pixel uh, uh, Camera app on this device. So you need to enable Camera 2 API and then install uh, uh, the Google Camera app. So in this video, we'll uh, uh, talk about how to go ahead uh, enabling the Camera 2 API and also so installing the Google camera app so uh, the steps are very simple uh, you don't need any uh, any root access to the device so you don't need to root the device it's pretty simple uh, task so uh, there are uh, four files available so you can uh, go to the description of this video you can see four files one is the ADB and fast boot drivers uh, second uh, is the platform tools uh, file and then uh, we have two links for the Google uh, uh, camera app one uh, why we have two links is one uh, camera app does not have support for front facing or rather the selfie camera uh, that uh, apk has support for the night side mode the uh, second apk is uh, uh, supporting all the camera modes both the rear and front but that does not have the night side mode so if you want to use uh, night side you have to use the second apk while uh, if you don't want night side uh, you can uh, go ahead with uh, the one apk which supports both the rear and the front camera so you can get downloaded uh, all the four files uh, uh, in the description of this video. So now going to the steps, first uh, you need to uh, download uh, uh, the ADB and fast boot drivers on your laptop. Now once uh, you're done now uh, with uh, uh, downloading the uh, ADB and fast boot driver, extract the file onto any place on your desktop. You can uh, go ahead uh, and extract to desktop or any other folder. Now double click on the ADB file available uh, in this folder. Now when you open the ADB file, you will get a command window and here you will need to type Y. So uh, now once you type Y, click enter again if you ask, uh, if it is asking for yes or no question, you need to just type Y. Now second step is to extract the latest uh, ADB folder, that's the platform tools. Now that you have uh, downloaded the platform tools file and extracted it, now you need to enable developer options on your smartphone, now that's uh, Zenfone Max Pro M2. So in order to do that, go to the settings, go to system and uh, here about phone. So system about phone, now you can see the build number. So just keep on tapping on the build number until you get the developer option. So you can see here. Uh, you are now a developer you get the message that now you are a developer now come back here and you can see the developer options here just select here and uh, enable uh, usb debugging so just select this so now we have enabled usb debugging and now we are set to uh, enable the camera to api access on this device so now power of the device so just uh, power off uh, this device uh, there you go so now we have powered off now what you need to do is uh, press and hold the uh, power up key and the power key together to enter the fast boot mode so just remember volume up key and the power key together to enter the fast boot mode so just press and hold this until you get the message that uh, you are entered the fast boot mode so there you go you can see that uh, fast boot mode uh, has been entered what you need to do is uh, connect your uh, asus zenfone max pro m2 with uh, your laptop so using the usb cable just connect this uh, open the, um, the platform tools folder now uh, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click and select open powershell window here now uh, this will open the powershell window now what you need to do is so just uh, type these commands so these commands are also available in the description of this video uh, you can just see what we have typed here so just uh, type these commands hit enter then uh, once you have done that now uh, type another command this again is available in the description of this video so uh, you need to enable uh, camera A api access camera to api access so you need to do uh, you need to enter this command so once you enter this command you will have uh, your zenfone max pro m2 um, having camera to api access so that's the very simple process so uh, uh, just have to download few files and then uh, enable developer options and then you need to fire these two commands uh, to get the camera to api access on this uh, device so now we have enabled uh, the camera to api access on uh, this device so we have installed uh, two uh, apks so these are the two apks which are available in the description of this video so we'll just open this and show you so this is the one with uh, uh, 
the night side mode you can see that if you go to the move settings the night side mode but the problem with uh, this camera is that everything works perfectly fine but uh, if you go to the uh, selfie camera if you just turn on the camera app stops so that's where you need the second api so second api is basically the older camera interface with all the features you can see the slow motion lens blur portrait mode everything is included even selfie support is there but this does not have the night sight mode so these are the two apks available so once you have uh, installed or rather uh, enabled camera to api access you can just uh, install this app and then start clicking pictures using the pixel camera app on the zenfone max pro m2 so that is a, a quick uh, tutorial on how to enable camera to api access and install the uh, to uh, i mean the pixel uh, camera app uh, on the zenfone max pro m2 so this is number signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day